So what's up guys? I got a lot of questions in my DMs and in my group uh, that you know a lot of people started growing an audience on Instagram with their IG automation channels and you know maybe they have 20,000 maybe they have 50,000 some of them you know have a hundred thousand followers and that's really good I'm super happy but their main question is what do I do next how do I start monetizing you know and can I even monetize and I'll tell you right now that the answer to all of your questions is basically just one word and that word is email all right email marketing email newsletters whatever you want to call it you need to start collecting emails you need to start collecting data because you need to understand one thing owned audience own audience is much more valuable than a borrowed audience you want to own your audience all right and how do you do that well you collect an email list and what do I mean by owned versus borrowed well when you post your content on IG on TikTok even on YouTube and you know Pretty much any platform it could be Twitter LinkedIn whatever <clears throat> the platform owns the audience you just borrowed the followers of that audience the users of that audience so they kind of follow you okay on there on the platform but you know if TikTok gets banned in the US tomorrow well your TikTok followers don't mean shit all right I'll be honest with you <laughs> like they're worthless at this point and you don't want that and you know you can say well Instagram is not going to get banned absolutely but at the end of the day will Instagram last 50 years I don't know but email most probably will all right maybe it will get more strict etc but you know if you take a look email is super important you know since the internet the start of the internet all right uh, so pretty much email has a longer you know lifetime lifespan of a follower on any platform and you own your audience all right also on these platforms on average on average you get around three to six percent reach all right of your followers three to six percent reach and uh, that usually is around one percent click rate so link click so pretty much you know if you have a hundred thousand followers uh, unless you're posting really good interesting content on average people reach three to six percent of their followers so you'll reach three to six thousand people and only one percent of those people if you'll include an ad or a call to action will actually actually respond to an ad so if you have you know three thousand views you may get 30 clicks on Instagram you know or on other platforms but on email especially email newsletters and that's what I recommend you'll get anywhere between 30 and 60 percent reach so of course to get an email it's much harder but let's say now you have 100,000 emails instead of uh, followers you had here followers um, 30 to 60 percent reach and your link click rate or click rate will be around three percent all right so if you have a hundred thousand emails and on the low end you get 30 percent open rate or reach you'll reach 30,000 people and three percent of 30,000 people is 9,000 oh sorry <laughs> Uh, 900 I mean not 9,000 so here you have 30 link clicks all right 
from 100,000 followers and here you have 900 link clicks from 100,000 emails. So pretty much one email is worth to around 30 um, followers. All right. So the real question is, how do you actually get those emails? How do you collect them? And you know, how do you monetize with them? And that's a great question. So pretty much to do all of this, you need to start producing content on email, pretty much do, you know, email newsletters and stuff. So let me kind of go back to a clean board and all right. So let's say you grew your audience to 90,000 followers now on Instagram. And you know what? Congratulations, because that's awesome. All right, you'll start probably making money very soon or you're already making good money. It really depends on how you monetize. But the fi first thing you should do after you hit 5,000 followers is start collecting emails. And you might ask, well, Arnas, how do I collect emails, right? Well, number one, you can start an email newsletter, all right? So just say, subscribe here and, you know, I'll, I'll send you very cool emails every single week or twice a week. Second of all, you can have a lead magnet. So you've probably seen, if you've been on social media, have you seen people say like, DM me the word, you know, ebook and I'll send you a free ebook. Uh, you know, click the link in bio and you'll get the free goal tracker. Message me and I'll send you something for free. Message me for more information. What they're all doing is basically collecting your email. Uh, so basically you give someone in a lead magnet, I'll say LM, lead magnet, in exchange of um, an email, all right? And what you do is you kind of, when you get that email, you send people to more of your lead magnets, you know, to kind of build a bond with them, and you, again, start sending an email newsletter. So to have an email newsletter, like you must have it, you must actively send emails, right? Number three of how you can promote a newsletter is an opt-in page, all right? So let's say you have a website and you click on the link and it says, you know, to get access to this website, you need to enter your email. And people enter their email on the opt-in page and you get an email and they get access to the website, so access. So probably you've seen this a lot with course sellers where they're like, you know, how I make $100,000 a month. Free training, unlock the training, enter the email. Boom, they have your email. And again, what they do with that email? Well, they send you a newsletter, all right? So there's probably more ways of how you can grow it, but I'm talking about when you have the following, how to promote it. And what I would choose at first is just creating a Substack. So Substack, Substack.com, go there, use that. That's for your newsletter. And then go on Gumroad, dot com and create a freebie all right so create free stuff to sell and maybe add like a paid product later but basically you'll use gumroad to collect emails from a lead magnet and you'll use Substack as just a landing page for your newsletter both of those platforms are absolutely free you know i'm not affiliated with them i you know, now I use a different paid platform, uh, but 
to start off when you have 5,000 followers, start collecting emails on Substack and start using Gumroad to collect emails. And what do you write in those email newsletters? Well, you just send out something cool, all right? So look at what's trending you know, on Instagram and maybe curate some content with some chat GPT. Or what I love to do is actually subscribe to multiple email newsletters, see what they send out you know, in a week, and you know, kind of get ideas from them, how the newsletter should look, etc. You can go on thepassionateincome.com and see my newsletter. You can take, you know, uh, some inspiration from that and you can find plenty more newsletters just by, you know, going into the rabbit hole of newsletters. So you just send out at first like one or two emails a week and your open rate, you know, like if you write good headlines, should be probably at first 40 to 60 percent so that means from 100 emails you collect 40 to 60 people will open that email every single time you send one well you don't want to spam people you know right away as they sign up don't do that but you want to provide them value all right so you send something cool um, value is good all right so you provide them value you build a relationship you send them more freebies you know so they start using your tools you maybe refer them to good platforms you actually like personally email them and ask for a testimonial or something ask what they want to hear from your newsletter and start building your presence and I'm not gonna lie you know if you have a very small following it will be hard to collect emails like from zero so even if you can collect 10 emails 20 emails 100 emails that's a win all right and why I'm telling you start collecting from 5,000 followers because I didn't start collecting from 5,000 followers and I probably lost on around I'd say a hundred thousand emails over my career just like that and in the email newsletter world or so depending on your niche one email uh, equals around one dollar per month in revenue um, with high profit margin meaning you know if you have 10,000 emails you can easily make ten thousand dollars a month if you have a good connection with your audience and you know the, the niche is there uh, so pretty much you know you can start earning pretty early i talked with someone yesterday who has 3500 emails and you know they send one email a day but it, it takes them like 20 minutes a day to write that email it's very short and simple sweet email and the guy makes around five thousand dollars a month all right pretty cool eh so just think about that uh, i wouldn't think about it as like oh i just collected eight emails what do i do with them no think about the long term because when you have their email like it's so much easier to grow and actually monetize when you already have a good email list built and this guy has been building his email list very slowly uh, for two years, all right? But he's not even promoting on like Instagram or nothing like that. He's just slowly collecting emails and he doesn't have a big social media presence, all right? So just think about that. And how do you make the money? Well, you introduce the products, etc. But let's say when you have a good email list and you're getting ready for a product launch, you can tease the email list you know about your product and that it's coming soon and as soon as you launch it you know that's time that's revenue you'll get the spike of revenue right away as you launch it why well because you tease them and the audience is waiting for you all right because 
the people who will enter the form um, you know of on your website to join your newsletter so let's say email you know they do enter the form they press join those people will be the most active ones anyways so those people would be the same people who would buy from you on Instagram they would be the same people who you know would message you etc and uh, so on and so forth so they're the most active people uh, and basically when you build a good email list you just get like uh, a list of the most active people from your audience and think about it you know to finish up I just want to kind of finish up with, with this thought all right so when you think about social media let's say on passionate income I have 1 million followers all right and it's a big number and when you think about it you're like whoa 1 million followers that sounds a lot just some food for thought when you start collecting emails from your following because that's the easiest way all right the easiest way to build a, an email newsletter and email list is to grow a following on social media and drive them there basically 1 million followers is equal to around depending on your niche still you know because sometimes it could be lower sometimes it could be higher but 35,000 emails all right and you pretty much will get the same result from having a million follower audience on Instagram as having a very active and responsive email list of 35,000 people and you think like how do I make them active well it's gonna come naturally if you keep sending emails and providing them value constantly so that's pretty much it just food for thought you know like I used to think well like 1 million followers that's like a huge number and it's hard to grow and it's true but my goal would be to grow X amount of followers doesn't matter how many you can have 20 different pages 200 different pages but my goal would be to collect 35,000 emails or as over a span of whatever because when you do have that you know it depends on your goals in life but just to use it as reference okay when you have 35,000 emails and let's say you send five times a week to your email list like you, if you want to I'm not saying you should when you reach that goal but if you just would want to you can stop doing everything you do in terms of work go to a cafe to a Starbucks every single morning write one email you know every workday so from Monday to Friday you write one email which would take you 30 to 60 minutes you go to a Starbucks you get your coffee you schedule the email you send it and let's say in a month you're making anywhere between 20 thousand and you know 35 thousand for some it may be you know your dream life so just think about it I used to think of a million followers like uh, as of something unbelievable unbelievably hard to do and you know it wasn't as hard as I thought but I would focus on 35,000 emails because it's much smaller number and it feels much more achievable and actually you'll collect like the best of your audience by doing that so for some this lifestyle may be you know what you're looking for and I'm not saying don't do Instagram without Instagram you won't grow like any followers like I said the guy I talked to he grew three and a half thousand you know subscribers in two years because he doesn't do Instagram he doesn't post content on Instagram and he doesn't provide value on Instagram but when you do provide value on Instagram immediately start collecting emails uh, for example on autopilot one of my friends created a page three months ago um, called visual hustles okay and he started collecting emails at 5,000 followers 
uh, and he had zero followers, all right? Now he has 500,000 followers after three months, and I don't wanna lie, but I think the last number was around 20,000 emails, all right? So just think about that, all right? It took him three months, and he can monetize the following now, of a half a million people, but also the emails, all right? And he's safe with the emails. So that's pretty cool. I'll wrap this up, guys. Um, if you're listening on, on uh, without, you know, visuals, go on my YouTube channel and you'll see this video posted. So thanks for watching, thanks for listening.